Dave Palumbo here with Palumbo's Pythons and Boas for another installment of Muscle Serpents University. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cleaning. I know a lot of people have their own techniques, probably a lot of you guys out there, you know, think that you know how to do it best. And, and the great thing about cleaning snake tubs is that there's no right way to do it. Uh, we all have our own techniques. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it and, you know, maybe you guys will give me some critiques in the comments and give me some ideas and maybe, you know, you guys will get some ideas from me. So let's, uh, let's pull out a dirty bin. I'm going to pull out here, this, this is like a V70 bin one of my ARS racks and this girl is going to be breeding for me this year and this is a honeybee that's a, a hypo spider and she's got great color she's she's a terrific eater she just really started bulking up again um, she's really putting her weight back on uh, she's been killing killing the rats every week and she was on a little bit of a hunger strike earlier in the summer but now she's really eating good I think now that the, the temperatures have gone down and uh, when they eat a lot they poop and pee a lot, as you can see. Not too many poops in here, but a lot of pee-pees. And this is like almost like every other day she's, she's peeing. Um, she's, I've got her, I've already seen her blocked with a, a male. She's bred, last year I bred her to a Coral Glow Spider Head Hypo. We produce some terrific Spider Coral Glow Hypos. You know, and, and we, they're all sold, unfortunately you guys out there if anyone was looking for them but so she'll probably produce some good stuff this year I don't even know I might I, I'm thinking about some some breedings that I'm not even going to talk about yet because I'm just mulling them over my head but I'm breeding her to uh, a male right now we'll see so I'm going to move her out of the tub if you see I have my little utility cart here a lot of guys have this cart it's like the janitor's cart if you remember from uh, elementary school you know the the old janitor used to push the cart around <laughs> clean bathrooms and everything like that I've become a janitor essentially. When you keep snakes, you're a janitor. You have to. You have to have all your supplies on here. I have my paper towels. I have my water jug so I can replace my water, and I have my I clean it. Now this is. Let me put it down for a second here. This is benzalkonium chloride. Uh, it's safe for the snakes. You, you dilute it ten to one. So you put about a tenth uh, of a, of the bottle in here, and you fill the rest up with water. And then you just, you know, you, you use this as your cleaning. You don't want to use Windex or anything like that. This is a disinfectant, but it, it's not too strong for these guys. All right, once you do that, you go into your tub, you get actually all your old stuff out. Now, a lot of people use Aspen, a lot of people use coconut shell. I have found that I'm a very clean person, and I like to use paper for a number of reasons. Paper towels, especially white paper towels, number one, will show you if, God forbid, you ever had a, a mite infestation. You'd see them right on there, the little black specks, okay? With aspen and, and shavings and stuff like that, you might not even know it. That's number one. Number two, I like to clean things on a regular basis, almost daily. I almost do daily cleans. I look at all my tubs every single day, as long as I'm not traveling, and I go through it, and if they're bad, I clean them immediately. Because if you clean it right away, you never have a problem. When it starts building up and you have aspen and it absorbs the urine, what happens is you start getting an odor in your facility. Why? Because there's a lot of waste in the, in the tubs and a lot of people are not cleaning their tubs enough. And quite frankly, it's a pain in the ass to use aspirin, I think, because you have to dump it, it gets all over the floor, it's, it has a smell, and so paper towels seem to have worked wonders for me. I, I love it, I, I'm out, I don't see myself switching anytime soon. So I spray the, the uh, benzalkonium chloride in here, avoiding the water bowl. So we're gonna clean the water bowl separately, so we'll take the water bowl out. These are obviously deli cups. You can replace them. I actually clean them. I know some people just throw them out. I clean them unless they're really disgusting when I throw them out. And then I wipe down the inside of the tub. Get all the poopy streaks off the wall. And one of the best, one of the best tools you can use, I'm gonna show you guys the secret if you don't know it, most of you probably know is a spoon. This is probably the best thing you can use for cleaning. Why? Because urates stick to the tub and you cannot get them up. And unless you want to lose your nails, you get the spoon, you rub it on the spoon on it, and they, they come right out. And, and the spoon gets into the corners, no problem. So you scrape up all those urates, get in there, put a little more spray on there, and voila, urates are gone. That's the best way to get rid of urates, I'm telling you. There's no way 
to get rid of these urates if you don't scrape them off. And if you use a razor blade, you're gonna obviously you're gonna damage your tub. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to leave cut marks in the tub because as soon as you start creating cut marks, that's where waste accumulates. Okay, we don't want to leave grooves. So once again, we we clean this as best as we can. You don't have to be perfect. And you know what? Actually, to tell you the truth, during breeding season, I don't clean the tubs too 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 uh, meticulously because. The smells, especially the waste smells, will stimulate breeding. There's a pheromone level in the waste. So you don't want to clean your tubs too clean when you're doing it on a daily basis, uh, when you're doing it during breeding season. Same thing when I have a female that's breeding, I don't clean her tub as much. Sometimes if she just urinates, I'll leave the urine in there because once again, that, that, those pheromones attract the males. Okay, so once I got this all cleaned out, and then take my paper towels, and I know exactly how many paper towels I need fit the thing, I got my two here, two here. Usually I use the select the size bounty. Once again, also if you can use paper towels, you gotta use bounty. I don't care what anyone else, all the other brands, Scott, they don't absorb. If you're gonna use paper towels, use bounty. Those are the only ones that are worth their weight in gold here. With my bigger tubs, obviously bounty, but I'd be using a whole roll of paper towel every time I actually, clean the tub, so I, I do use paper for those, and I can show you those afterwards. So we go, we, we dump, we'll dump this water out, we'll clean it, I'm not gonna do it here right now. I wash out the water bowl with a sponge and a little, a little soapy water. I, I rinse it thoroughly, put fresh water in here. If I was just topping it off, I would top it off like this. Obviously then we get our snake, and we put her back into her nice clean tub, and all is said and done. All is good in the world. Now, if you do this 150 more times, you get all your tubs clean, and that could take a long time. But luckily, they all don't go at the same time. Uh, also, this is the season where I'm not feeding boas because we're breeding them, so they're really not going to the bathroom very much. So that's saving me a lot of time because the boas are bigger and they poop a lot more. <laughs> but the boa pythons are pooping a lot because um, I'm feeding them pretty heavily, especially the females right now are eating uh, and they're building follicles and. We're getting, uh, we're getting locks. Haven't seen any ovulations yet, but you know that's probably due to come by next month. So hopefully you guys learned a little something from my cleaning techniques. Once again, they're not the do-all be-all. Everyone's got their own thing. Some guys may not like what I do. This is simplicity to me. It keeps things clean. We don't have a smell in here, and I like it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, click like below. If you like the channel, subscribe, because you know what? You won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now that I'm kind of settling into my new house, I'll be getting a lot more content up for you guys to check out. Dave Palumbo with Muscle Serpents University for Palumbo's Pythons and Bows.